Hello everybody, how are you? My name is Juan Pacina. Thank you so much for tuning to my YouTube channel, Pacina Music. Today, I'm going to be working on another keyboard tutorial. We're going to be doing the song Promises from Maverick City Music. It just came out a couple of weeks ago, and wow, what an amazing, amazing song. So we're going to dive right into it, and it's going to be awesome. So I really hope you guys learn from this um, tutorial that you guys can start playing the song at your own churches or in your own personal worship time. So the song is in B-flat major. Time signature is going to be a 6-8. And the BPM that I recommend, um, it fluctuates a little bit. Um, but I would say maybe in ball par ballpark would be around 172 BPM. So let's dive right into it. Okay, so the intro, they basically vamp the chords for the verse and the pre-chorus. So the chords I'm going to show you for the intro is the same exact chords with the same exact um, timing for the verse 1, pre-chorus, and for verse 2. Very simple. So the first chord is going to be a G minor. That is G, B flat, D. And I like to add this flat 7 in there just to be able to match the style of what they're doing. And then it's an E flat major, E flat. G, B flat. And if you want to add a little bit more of spice to it, you can add the major seventh and the major ninth to it, sounding like this. Very lovely. And then the next chord is going to be a B flat, so which is B flat, D, and F. If I were to add a little spice to it, I'm going to add this C, the ninth. And then the last chord is going to be an F, F, A, C. You can do an F with the, the six in there or with the ninth as well. Some people also like to add, you know, that fourth and the, and the third to clash a little bit. Very nice. Um, but it's really up to you guys. So basically, those are the four chords for the intro. Um, the intro is a four bar, but the actual verse one is an eight bar. Uh, which is basically you repeating the intro twice. So here we go. Timing's gonna be one measure per chord. So we'll go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. You repeat it. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. So verse one goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. God of Abraham, you're the God of covenant and faithful promises. Time and time again, you have proven you'll do just what you said. Though the storms may come and the winds may blow, I'll remain steadfast. And let my heart learn when you speak a word, it will come to pass. Very easy. So in the chorus, the chord progression changes. It goes like this. You're going to have four um, different chords, and it's going to be the first measure is going to be a G minor seventh. Second measure is going to be a B flat over D. That's a B flat first inversion. How do you play that? Play a B flat on the top, and then the D at the bottom. E flat is the third measure, and the fourth chord and the fourth measure will be a B flat. And then you repeat that. So the chorus goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great is your faithfulness to me. Great is your faithfulness to me. From the rising sun to the setting sun, I will praise your name. Great is your faithfulness to me. And then it goes back to the reintro or turnaround using the same chord progression as the intro. And then when you do that twice, you can do that twice. That's what they did. They go into verse two, which is exactly the same chord progression as verse one. Verse two goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. God from age to age, to the earth may pass away. Your word remains the same. 
Your history can prove There's nothing you can't do You're faithful and true Though the storms may pass And the winds may blow I'll remain steadfast And let my heart learn When you speak a word It will come to pass oh, Great is your faithfulness to me and etc so there what they do is they go up the higher octave i'm not going to do that for this video um but it's definitely fun so remember the first time you approach this if you want to keep that same type of atmosphere do it more like a type of down chorus you know just um sing it a lower octave and then when you approach it again from the verse two from the second time you go to the pre-chorus and you just want to really declare that chorus then go up the higher octave so right after that they go into an instrumental the instrumental is basically the same chord progression as the bridge, which is four measures, and the chords go like this. E flat starts first. Second measure is going to be B flat. Third measure is going to be G minor. And fourth measure is going to be F. So you're going to do that. Um, they did that four times while the singer was flowing. And then when they went to the bridge, you know, they were just flowing right before approaching it to the bridge. So I'm going to sing the bridge, same chord progression. I put my faith in Jesus, my anchor to the ground, my hope and firm foundation. You'll never let me down. I put my faith in Jesus, my anchor to the ground, my hope and firm foundation. You'll never let me down. I put my faith in Jesus, my anchor to the ground, my hope and firm foundation. You'll never let me down. I put my faith in Jesus, my anchor to the ground, my hope and firm foundation. You'll never let me down. You'll never let me down. One, two, three, four, five, six, great is your faithfulness to me and etc so basically that is how you do the song promises it's not that difficult um one thing that they also like to do is to re to vamp that from the rising sun to the setting same i'll praise your name so they'll go like this from the rising sun to the setting sun, i will praise your name from the rising sun to the setting sun, I will praise your name. And then they repeat that, repeat that, just to, you know, approach that chorus in a different way. So, guys, that's basically how you do the song. If you enjoy um, this tutorial and you learned how to play the song, definitely leave a comment, a like subscribe hit that notification bell follow us thank you so much for following us um, for subscribing to us we are almost about to hit 1900 subscribers we are believing that by the end of next week we reach that goal and that we hit 2000 by the end of may so we're very excited um thank you so much for being faithful and for waiting for us waiting for these videos to come out and many more coming out very soon thank you guys until next time